A medicine that effectively treats the sting of a box jellyfish has been developed by Angel Yanagihara, a researcher at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. A sting that is a painful nuisance in Hawaii and deadly in places like Australia, Thailand, and Indonesia. Her work was published in the December 2012 edition of PLOS One, the world's most prestigious open access online scientific journal. What is extremely satisfying to me is to bring this 14-year hunt and work to a, a peer-reviewed end. That hunt started when Yanagihara, a biochemist, was severely stung by box jellyfish in 1997 while swimming near Waikiki. That's when she discovered that little was known about what causes the sting's burning pain. They certainly brought the battle to an interesting person. When I, when I got stung, I, I got motivated. This is video of the venom being fired out of the jellyfish tentacles. In 1998, Yanagihara identified a toxin in the venom that has since been found in all box jellyfish around the world. She soon discovered the toxin was the kinetic leader or locomotive that drives the venom and eventually found compounds that can block the toxin's effect on human blood cells. Then came the tests on more than 300 laboratory mice. Just injecting the venom into the mice uh, caused death of 100% of the animals within 20 minutes. Uh, whereas when we followed that up with the treatment, most of the animals, over 75% of them, survived the entire 12-hour uh, observation period. The technology to treat the stings is now being developed and may be on the market soon. Not only is it uh, a technology that's applicable for life-threatening stings, um, but also for, the, for our local burning stings. This is just the beginning. Her research on box jellyfish could lead to breakthroughs on things like treating wounds and septic shock. It is just another example of the impact UH can have on the state and the world. This is a, a real um, you know, strong point of Hawaii and, and University of Hawaii here in Manoa. And we have um, you know, state-of-the-art facilities so we can kind of put together a community to address really unusual kinds of topics. Yanagihara and her team are still out on Waikiki Beach every month in the middle of the night collecting box jellyfish. She even became a certified scientific diver to study the creatures in their habitat. It's pretty scary, uh, you know. You know, you know, there's tiger sharks out there at 3 a.m. where you're diving. But um, anyway, it it has been uh, just a magnificent kind of journey. She credits her success to her departments, the Pacific Biosciences Research Center and the UH Medical School, and colleagues from around the world. But says it is the funding from the Hawaii Community Foundation, which has been on board since the beginning, that really made a difference. So all thanks go to HCF uh, for their vision and their steadfast uh, support of this work. And thanks to the jellyfish that stung Yanagihara over a decade ago that started her magnificent journey.